show off this uh, amazing new game. Um, it's actually the beta version, but I finally have beta access to Starbound. Um, and this is uh, me basically starting from scratch. I had a test character um, that I, I used to optimize the frame rate, and then I had um, another character that I've been using for multiplayer, but honestly I have very little experience with this uh, game, so I thought you all might enjoy watching me uh, stumble over myself as I uh, I go from uh, inexperience to master. Um, anyway, let's see, we'll just create a new character here. I'll take you through some of the options. Um, so we have uh, humans, um, can be a boy or girl, um, have these weird bird things, monkey people, <laughs> um, I don't know what the hell that is. It looks like it's made out of a... It, it looks like it's a plant or something. I guess. Like, you can... It's sex is like a blue rose or a red rose, so I'm, I'm assuming. And, uh... Yeah, I'm not even gonna try. Um... And <laughs> I like the, uh... Like the, the glitch. You can choose between a, a plug or a wall outlet. <laughs> um... <laughs> Anyway, I think I'm gonna try something, maybe... Yeah, nah. I'll try this guy. He looks interesting. Billy color? Okay. So, anyway, you get like a, like a crap load of, uh options to customize here. I don't know, you know, if anybody's familiar with uh, Terraria, you know, you only get like maybe uh, maybe three or four uh, things to choose from. You know, you can just adjust colors on the, the basic sprite. So this is a little, a little more advanced than that. And, uh, you know, don't get me wrong, I, I love Terraria. I still play it, even though this has been released. But um, anyway... That said, this uh, game allows for a, a wide variety of customizable options that you just don't find in any other game of this kind, which is, you know, that's definitely a perk. Um, so you can bald here, it, whatever it is. Yeah, we'll go with the best thing. Uh, yeah, there we go. And here, I, I love this little thing here, the personality feature. <laughs> kind of, uh, just defines, like, um, your stance and, like, you know. Um, I'm not sure if it has an effect on the expressions that you can use. I know you can use expressions, but, um, I guess I could find out. I'll just use a a version, like a stance that I haven't used with another character yet. Yeah, let's do this one. Looks <laughs> he's about to piss himself. just a beta so there there are occasionally little hiccups um, 
it is running surprisingly well. Like, it's probably the uh, most functional beta I've ever participated in. Um, let's see. Cool little feature is, like, how you interact with your environment in this game. Like, you can uh, just highlight things with the mouse and you hit the E key to uh, bring this up, to, to bring up the inventory, and I'm not sure how you drag and drop uh, multiple items yet. I need to figure that out, but um, I do know that if you put the time in, you can painstakingly dra drag items out one at a time, um, like so. Yay, I got a reward. And a new quest. And if you press the J key, this is something I had no clue about um, in the beginning, but if you press the J key, you can actually bring up your quest list, which really kind of uh, gives you a little bit of uh, direction in the game. I mean, you don't have to follow it, but it really helps to kind of help you uh, progress and know where to go next. Okay. I still don't know what this does. It seems like um, it seems like you might be able to actually like buy stuff instead of crafting it if you're lazy or something. I I really don't know. That's my best guess. And uh, the tech, I don't know. I have no clue. Uh, here's my fuel. It's empty, so I'm trapped here. Although, for some strange reason, it seems if I uh, pick random and just pick go, it'll jump me to a new random planet, I guess. You know, it only does that once, even though I have no fuel, but um, let's just go check this out real quick. <laughs> 